The Democratic Republic of the Congo is a land of immense natural wealth. It is home to some of the world's richest mineral deposits, including cobalt, copper, diamonds, gold, tin, and tungsten. The Congo also has vast forests, hydroelectric potential, and arable land. The DRC's natural resources have the potential to transform the country's economy and improve the lives of its people. However, the exploitation of these resources has been fraught with problems. The Congo has been plagued by conflict and corruption, and the benefits of resource extraction have not been equitably shared. Welcome to the past and present. Please like, share and subscribe. King Leopold II was the second king of the Belgians from 1865 to 1909, and the founder and sole owner of the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908. He is best known for his brutal exploitation of the Congolese people, which resulted in the deaths of millions of them. Leopold was born in Brussels, Belgium, in 1835. He was the second son of King Leopold I of Belgium. He succeeded his father to the throne in 1865. In the 1870s, Leopold became interested in colonizing Africa. He used his personal wealth and influence to lobby European leaders to support his plan to create a private colony in the Congo. In 1885, the Berlin Conference of European Powers granted Leopold control of the Congo Free State. Leopold ruled the Congo Free State as his personal property. He used the force publique, a private army, to force the Congolese people to work in the rubber industry. The force publique was notorious for its brutality, and it is estimated that it killed millions of Congolese people. The story of the Congo is one of appalling brutality. The narrative follows the troubled history of the region from King Leopold II of Belgium's avaricious economic exploitation of the country, a dark chapter of history that sheds light on the brutalities and atrocities committed under the rule of King Leopold II in the Congo Free State. It's a story of exploitation, suffering, and the fight for justice that deserves to be remembered. In late 19th century, King Leopold II of Belgium established the Congo Free State under the guise of humanitarian efforts and progress. What ensued, however, was a reign of terror that defies comprehension. Leopold's true motives soon became clear as he exploited the Congo's vast natural resources to fill his coffers. Rubber and ivory became lucrative commodities, but at an unthinkable cost. The native Congolese population bore the brunt of this exploitation, leading to forced labor, mass displacement, and the annihilation of entire communities.
The cruelty inflicted on the Congolese people is difficult to fathom. Millions were subjected to forced labor, enduring horrific conditions on rubber plantations and in mines. Those who failed to meet their quotas faced unspeakable punishments, including whipping, mutilation, and death. The infamous red rubber system required villages to meet harsh rubber quotas or face brutal consequences. As tales of the horrors reached the global community, outrage swelled. Missionaries, journalists, and human rights activists began to uncover and publicize the truth about the Congo Free State. Reports of severed hands, public executions, and systematic abuses shocked the world, prompting widespread condemnation. Among the heroes who emerged from this darkness was Sir Roger Casement, a British diplomat who meticulously documented the atrocities. His groundbreaking reports laid bare the extent of the suffering, shining a relentless spotlight on Leopold's barbarism. The international pressure eventually forced Leopold to relinquish control of the Congo Free State to the Belgian government. However, the legacy of suffering endured. Estimates suggest that millions of Congolese lives were lost due to violence, disease, and famine during Leopold's reign. The tragic tale of the Congo Free State is a chilling reminder that unchecked power and greed can lead to unimaginable suffering. Leopold died in 1909, still believing that he had done a good thing for the Congolese people. However, his legacy is one of exploitation and cruelty. He is considered one of the most brutal colonial rulers in history. Thanks for watching. Well, come along with me to the next journey, till then. Please subscribe to the past and present and click the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming videos.